We've reached the end of covering the poly chapter in Software Foundations. Now would be a good time to go off and do the exercises in that chapter. So as a reminder, you can grab the source code for the chapter from the repo of lectures associated with these videos uh, and put them in whatever folder of exercises you're using already and start doing the exercises in poly. If you've already programmed in a functional language before, these exercises will probably be fairly fast for you to get through. If you've never programmed in a functional language before, these are really great exercises to do because they teach you some of the essence of functional programming, uh, doing it inside of a particular functional language, Coq. Also, if you're interested in doing some really fun exercises on higher order functions, there's some really good ones at the end of this uh, on the so-called church natural numbers. Uh, so these are the numbers that were uh, an encoding of natural numbers invented by Alonzo Church uh, in the lambda calculus. So we talked about lambdas earlier in these videos with higher order functions, specifically the syntax for constructing anonymous functions in Coq. So this is a way of representing the natural numbers using only lambdas, using anonymous functions, uh, so that you, in the end, you don't even need to have natural numbers built into your language. Right? You can code them up just from functions, and that's pretty cool. Of course, the result is maybe not so efficient of a representation as, as the natural numbers or even the integers that we're used to, which are much more efficient on our modern processors. Uh, but they're a really theoretically interesting concept. So I commend these exercises to you. I think you'll have some fun doing them. Of course, if you're just watching these videos to get a sense of what Coq does, uh, that's OK. Uh, feel free to just skip forward to the next video when we start the next chapter of Software Foundations.